We all know that virtually every organization is using the cloud in some way, shape or form, but those same organizations are building or maybe buying abstraction layers that attempt to hide the underlying complexity of these clouds, which are now connected to on-prem workloads. They're in hybrid models spanning across multiple clouds and bleeding out to the edge. Now, while such an approach is ostensibly simplifies technology provisioning and management, it brings challenges. And these challenges are fundamentally data problems. For example, with the sprawling clouds, how do you track sensitive data and know where it lives? How do you ensure compliance and privacy protections in a world of ever-changing regulations? How can you securely share data in an increasingly decentralized environment? How can you identify gaps in security policies? And how can organizations identify and stop exfiltration in this complex environment? And oh, by the way, very importantly, how can this all be automated? Because the number one challenges that CISOs face is a lack of talent. Hello everyone, this is Dave Vellante and welcome to this CUBE conversation where we profile emerging technologies, innovative startups and disruptive trends in enterprise tech. And today we're pleased to welcome two guests from a really interesting firm trying to solve many of these problems. With us are Dr. Noah Johnson, who's the co-founder and CTO and April Mitchell, head of engineering, both from Desera. Folks, welcome April, great to see you again. Such a pleasure to be here, thanks Dave. Okay, Noah, let me start, start with you. I got to ask you, is security in your mind a do-over? Uh, hey Dave, thanks, thanks for having us. Great, great to be here. Um, so yeah, you, you hear the adage a lot today, security is, is broken. Um, and certainly, you know, if you look at the, the number of data breaches and misuses of data uh, in the last few years, clearly something isn't working, right? Um, now our view actually is that data security needs to be rethought um, and, and kind of designed from the ground up for the modern way that the data is used. And that's exactly what we're doing. So we, we don't say do over so much as, you know, data security reimagined, especially for the cloud. Yeah, you can't just rip and replace, but uh, it's a little tongue in cheek there. But, but tell me more about the background of the company. Why did you and your co-founders start the firm? Are, are those challenges that I laid out up front the ones that you're directly attacking? Yeah, we're attacking all of them. Um, so the, the background of the company, uh, the, the, our technology originally came from a PhD work, PhD work that I did while I was studying at, at UC Berkeley. Um, so I've spent most of the last decade or so looking at you know, different cybersecurity problems. And my dissertation specifically focused on how do you secure sensitive data while still allowing people to access it uh, in a flexible way. Um, as part of that work, I was able to collaborate with a, a big tech company, Fortune 500 company, who were facing very similar problems internally. Uh, they needed to get a handle on their data. Um, and so uh, through that kind of research collaboration, we built a, a platform that was able to track data and monitor how the data was used to better protect it while still allowing the company to be data driven. Uh, they ended up deploying this system at scale uh, and so this was really strong, at least initial validation, that the approach that we're using at Desera actually is quite effective uh, and sound. So since then we've we've talked to uh, hundreds of, of, of other you know, CISOs and, and security teams and, and really sort of gotten a, a deeper appreciation for the magnitude of the problem today. You know, no person that we've spoken to has high confidence in their data security. And we can dig into the reasons for that it's not for lack of effort, it's that this is a very hard problem, especially with the move to the cloud. Yeah, I mean, I mean, trust is popping up on the NPS surveys. It's like the number one factor today. April, let's bring you into the discussion. You and I met early last decade uh, and, and you've, we've followed your career since then. What attracted you to, to Sarah? Yeah, that's a great question, Dave. You know, I've spent my career at, at Fortune 10 companies with 15,000 plus uh, employees. What made me take this step to go to order the magnitude a uh, smaller company and team? And uh, I, I would say it was an easy choice. Uh, and I was driven by a bold vision, uh, the right team and an, innovation, an innovator's heart. Uh, when I had a, a conversation with Ani, the CEO and, and Noah's co-founder, Ani and I crossed paths 
back at HP. And uh, he had the opportunity to work with myself and one of my collaborators. And I'd say at the time, we were the two co-founders running our own little two-person startup within HP Labs, uh, delivering consumer web services. And, and Ani and I connected then, and, and we knew we wanted to have that chance to work together in the future. And I was blessed with the opportunity to go from analytics to programmability at HP at, at Cisco. And when Ani uh, called me up just a little over two months ago, and he told me about Desera, immediately I was interested. Uh, data security is a wonderful hot space with so many challenges and that innovation uh, and the, the challenge from a real research perspective is what drew me to Desera and I had the conversation with Noah and we went deep into differential privacy uh, and the crux of his PhD research and I understood there uh, this, this company is built on very strong bones and really to be successful it's about the team. You have to have a diverse team with great experience. And when I talked to every single one of the team members, they shared a vision and they shared a passion. And you know me, I love being a part of a strong team and I love building strong teams. And that's exactly what we're doing here at Tessera. Thank you for that, April. So, so Noah, give us the North Star. Like you gotta, you know, early on, you guys gotta focus in on, on, on where you're headed. What, what is that North Star? Uh, our, our goal is to really solve data security. You know, we, we touched on earlier, clearly, you know, current solutions aren't working. We think we have a very innovative solution that is, you know, designed specifically for where data lives today, which is the cloud. We see ourselves as, you know, being the kind of gold standard for tracking and managing and securing data in the cloud across the entire life cycle. You know, from the point the data is created to all of the different ways the data is used, to when the data is deleted. We want to build a system that lets companies for the first time get that visibility, create that feedback loop between the data users, the different security stakeholders, the legal teams, help them make better, more informed security decisions by providing that visibility. So April, I, I use this chart sometimes when I do segments on security. It's, I think it's from Optiv and it's this, it shows all the different segments and this is a very fragmented market space. Uh, yeah. So, so I, I'm, I'm wondering, like, for first of all, like, who's the enemy? I mean, who you're trying to attack? But it's so fragmented. You know, maybe there isn't isn't one. But from an engineering standpoint, part two of the question is, what are the really gnarly problems that, that you're focusing on? But, but, but talk about the you know part A first, if you would. Who, who are you targeting here? Absolutely, I, I would say. Uh... The, the best uh, defense is a really good offense. And how are we approaching this problem differently? And you know, there are many data security tools out there, many processes um, from access control to DLP, uh, but we still had 4,000 events 4,000 breaches in the last year alone. So we can't continue to expect different outcomes by using these same approaches. So that's where we are changing the story. And, and we have a bold purpose. We don't want to be a typical existing cybersecurity uh, company. We want to take the approach of treating data security as sacred. Um, we want to make the world a safer place. And we want to do that by securing data across its life cycle, creation to deletion. Uh, you asked about the gnarly challenges that are out there. To do that right, you have to do it at speed. You've got to do it in real time and you have to do it at scale. Uh, and, and those are, are definitely the challenges that we're biting into right now from an engineering perspective. So, so Noah, when you looked at the, the landscape, you saw, as April said, there's just so many, many different tools out, out there. How do you describe your, your, your difference in the marketplace? And April, please chime in as well, but. Sure, yeah. Um, so everyone has a, a slightly different approach. Um, April touched on this earlier, um, uh, you know, we want to fix data security. So in, in some sense, we're all on the same team. We have different you know, views of the, the most effective way of, of solving this problem, but ultimately everyone wants to solve the, the same problem. I would say we're the only ones that give a comprehensive look at the entire data life cycle. Um, so if you look at other similar security offerings, you know, a lot of players are focused on just access control, right? Or data loss prevention or specific features like encryption. And these are all really important technologies, um, but they're not sufficient, right? These are technologies that have been in use for the last decade and yet we still see data breaches on, on a daily basis. Um, and the reason for that is even if you have those systems in place, 
there's a lot that can go wrong between you know when someone is granted access to all of the different ways they consume and share the, the data and so where we're unique is we give this holistic picture of the data end to end and we don't necessarily replace those other solutions actually we, we complement them our system can tell you you know if you have an encryption solution in place are you encrypting the right data right are you using it the right way um, so you get more value out of, of those tools or if you have access control our platform can be a, a set of guardrails or, or kind of a backstop that can let you know are those access control rules properly configured are certain users overprivileged and so forth so really providing that context like i said earlier to make better security decisions that's where we're differentiated that's kind of our unique view of how to solve the problem a april anything you'd add to that it sounds like you're a platform yeah. for all these tools I, I i feel like i need i need that for my apps <laughs> <laughs> But, but what's the secret sauce there? Yeah, um, I think the secret sauce is, is that we've learned from the challenges that our customers are facing. Um, we have an approach where we want to rapidly innovate and rapidly validate, and our team is doing that. Uh, Noah mentioned a, a couple of the key features. I'm going to add a few more because really when, when you're making a choice, what should I use? You know, you've got to start with <laughs> what do you want to protect? Your data and your people. How can we help you protect that? Well, we can help you manage data sprawl. You'd be surprised by how many customers on the cloud are really interested in or, or use our product for the first time and go, oh my gosh, I did not know that that was there. When did that get there? How did it get copied there? Why is it there? You know, and they're asking these questions. So we want to help you track that sprawl of your data. Um, we want to monitor the data when it's in use. Um, how are people querying it? How are your employees accessing it? How are they using it? Are they using it in the right way? Are they using it in the right way today? Are they using it in the right way tomorrow based on the permissions? Uh, and, and we can give you that risk analysis and that perspective. Um, we also want to let you know when the data sprawls, when there's a new copy and it's stored in a new data store, is it configured the right way? Are you protecting it uh, the right way? We can analyze that for you as well. So really the, the completeness of the features from the end to end solution, you can't protect across the entire data lifecycle from creation to deletion, unless you're truly connecting and understanding how the data is being used. Great, thank you. So, no, what's the ideal customer look like? Big, small, different industries. Give us the ICP. Um, so, as as far as industries, I mean, our, our view is, you know, data breach is a data breach. So, you know, any company that collects data and and needs to protect it uh, would would benefit from from our solution. I, I would say specifically, you know, organizations that. Uh, are cloud first and, and data driven, meaning they collect a lot of data and need to use that data, especially if that data is sensitive. So think B2C companies, retail, you know, e-commerce, social media, finance, um, you know, any company that collects consumer data, there are legal obligations, security obligations, you know, kind of a, a higher standard of, of care that's required for that data. And that's where we can really help. So we're seeing traction actually from all of these industries. As far as the ideal user profile, we are you know, targeting data security professionals, uh, but we are a platform. We are a collaboration platform. Our system is designed to let different stakeholders within the organization work together from you know, the security team to the legal team, to the different data custodians. They can all collaborate seamlessly within the platform using that context that we're stitching together about the data flow. Yeah, that, that last point is important because you know, it used to be, it was the, it was the SecOps team. It was their problem, you know, and, and now it's IT, it's security, it's legal, it's line of business. And then the first point you made about cloud first and data driven, that's good news for your TAM, because if you're not cloud first and data driven, you're probably not going to be in business in the, <laughs> by the end of the decade. But, um, okay. So uh, how about the business case? You know, your startup, the ideal startup situation is your, your, your 10 X the value at one tenth the price. Um, now, maybe in your case, it's a little different because you're taking that holistic view as opposed to one narrow view, but what's the justification? L lay out the ROI. Yeah, so we have, we've designed the platform actually to be very, you know, quick time to value and, and easy to deploy. The platform's fully automated. It has built-in policies and, and machine learning. So, you know, you spin it up and it will automatically discover the data stores. It will go and crawl the data uh, to automatically classify it. And so now you've already solved the problem of just 
you know, data sprawl, knowing what data is out there. And then, you know, we can show customers, you know, here's how the databases are configured. Is the data sufficiently protected? Here's how employees are interacting with the data. And then finally, optionally to write policies and, and workflows to, to make sure that, you know, there's a process in place to protect the data across its entire life cycle. So there's sort of a, uh, you know, a, an evolution of different features. It's kind of a maturity evolution from just number one, identifying the data. Like, like we say, you can't protect what you don't know exists to, uh, to protecting it uh, and identifying whether there are any security risks and compliance gaps. And then finally, automatic proactive protection and, and remediation by uh, security policies. So where are you guys in terms of like the maturity? Obviously it's early days, but, but you know, where are you in terms of product market fit? Have you nailed that? Still trying to figure that out. I know you've raised around 9 million, you're out of stealth. You give us a sense of the maturity curve. I can, I can jump in on that one and speak a bit about our first customers uh, and then Noah can add more detail as well. Um, but you know, we're, we're seeing these cloud first organizations, uh, the CISOs, the, the chief security or privacy officers come into us because they know the traditional approaches aren't working. Uh, we are here, we are ready to engage. Uh, we aren't describing what's coming. We're talking about what we have now and we will sit arm to arm with you and uh, you know, make sure uh, that we are solving the challenges that your team is facing right now. Uh, and that's where we're getting our early feedback. That's where we've really been able to uh, showcase some new innovations and, and to validate and move from there. Um, but I would say uh, if you're interested in talking to us please call, <laughs> please uh, you know, visit the website and, and make that connection because we're not stealth, we're not hiding. Uh, we are engaging and, and definitely have um, a, a offering that is ready to be used. So, okay, so you're in market yeah. with, with that offering. What do, I, what do I buy from you? Is it a SaaS, is it a subscription, is it a service? Yeah, so we have a few different product offerings and deployment models, depending on where the data is stored and, and, and the environment that the company wants to run the software. So we support on-prem, uh, we also have a SaaS offering as well. Okay, and that and that and what that runs in the cloud, obviously the SaaS offering, and or, or you can sort of put it, is it a, require an appliance? How do I deploy it on-prem? No appliance runs runs purely in the cloud and you know within an hour to onboard to connect to the environment um, and to get a scan up and running. And the status of the company, am I right? I think you've raised like $9 million, headcount, anything you can share in, in that regard? Are you hiring? I'm sure you are. <laughs> we're, we're growing very quickly. Uh, there's been tremendous traction as, as, as April um, mentioned earlier. Um, and we're super excited about the opportunity ahead of us. Uh, it's clear we've tackled the very big problem that is still unsolved. Um, so we have you know, big plans. Uh, and you know, we fortunately have been able to raise some capital to help us you know, build out the team um, to add the capabilities that we need to fully solve this problem end to end. So we're well on our way, uh, but it's a journey. Um, you know, this is an unsolved problem for a reason, right? It, it's quite complex. Um, and we've got a great head start. We've got a great approach. Uh, we've got some great early customers, um, but you know, there's, there's a way to go still. And I'll, I'll use that opportunity uh, to say, yes, we are hiring. And if you're interested in this space, uh, if you want to learn uh, from a, a team of experts, but also grow uh, your skills and, and, and take on some new challenges, then please uh, go to the website and check out the current positions that we have. Drop me a, a ping uh, through any of the social media networks because uh, we'd love to hear from you. Great website is Desera, D-A-S-E-R-A. -S -E All right, so check it out. Guys, great to have you on. Thanks so much. Best of luck, we'll be, we'll be tracking you and, and really congratulations on, on getting to this point. And I know you got a lot more work to do, but really exciting times I'm sure for you. Thanks Dave. All Such right. a pleasure to see you this way, hopefully in person soon. Thank hopefully, you so much. Hopefully, yeah, absolutely. Hopefully in 21, we'll see, we'll see. And thank you for watching everybody. This is Dave Vellante for theCUBE. We'll see you next time.